What's up, guys? So, uh, just moments ago, I uh, uploaded a video uh, for a thousand subscribers, and I was talking about how uh, Knife Kiss was going to be sharing something uh, new with us, and uh, sure enough, uh, it, it just arrived. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little video. We're going to make a holster with this new material. Uh, it's going to be for something basic, just uh, Glock 17. And what I'm going to do is at the end of the project, I'm going to give away what we make, and so we can. Uh, explore the new material together, uh, see what kind of results we can get with it, and uh, then what I'll do is I'll give away the holster, and I'll also uh, give away a little sample pack of the material to somebody else who uh, wants to uh, get involved in it, so we can have a little fun doing that. Now this material is called Holstex, H-O-L-S-T-E-X, and uh, they sent me a little uh, helpful sheet on uh, you know, working with this material and whatnot. And so it gives you a couple guidelines. Uh, toaster oven uh, is easier to use than heat gun, yes, obviously. Um, you know, heat it to about 300 degrees, uh, et cetera, et cetera. They give you some, some basic advice on uh, how to make a, a knife sheath. So they gave us a couple of uh, colors. There, there are three available at the moment. And what we have, we have a fun uh, carbon fiber that actually has a texture to it, which is which really interesting here. It comes with this uh, protective coating so you don't scratch it up. I peeled it back so you can see what the carbon fiber looks like. Uh, it comes in basic black as well, which is what we're going to do the holster in. And it also comes in, they call it Mirage. It's clear. I mean, it's totally clear which is pretty crazy. So uh, I can think of, I can't think of an application for this yet, but I think it would be kind of neat if you maybe have like a, uh, a gun with a pattern on it or an engraving or uh, uh, a texture or like some sort of color scheme. I think it would be cool to be able to see that through the holster or just a basic knife or what have you. So what I'm going to do is I haven't touched or worked with any of this at all yet. What I'm going to do is we're going to go through this from soup to nuts together and learn about this material. So I'm just going to do a basic holster. Let's grab the black and uh, get working. So about marking up the, uh, the material or, you know, having something that rinses off or whatnot. So, here we go, we've got this. I have the oven preheating at the moment, and since we have a good temperature guideline, we can uh, work with that to see what kind of results we can get. We've scored it. This this is the um, 060 thickness, so we'll see if it works. Oh, that's nice and easy, easier than uh, Kydex. Oh, we got to cut through the plastic on the back. Uh, there we go. So there's one piece. Let's see what we can get here. back. Uh, now let's do the front. We're going to do You know what? Let's make this interesting. Let's do the front in carbon fiber and the back in black so we can uh, get an idea of what we're working with and use, this, use as much as possible here. 
So here's the here's the back piece. We'll do the front piece of the carbon fiber. That sounds like fun, right? I've always seen this carbon fiber in pictures online and thought it was kind of gaudy for a holster, but in real life it actually looks kind of sweet in an interesting way. similar to Kydex, you know, it's, I do like the protective coating, and it really lets me feel like I'm not, uh, damaging it before I get to it, so I'm gonna deeper this, there you go, the burrs come off pretty easily, it's just like sawing regular Kydex so far, now here we go, we're going to peel off the protective coating, and take a look at the texture. Come on. The coating keeps it fresh. Um, it's got a uh, glossier texture than the Kydex. You can tell already, but what's interesting is that it's the same on both sides. It's uh, it's got the uh, the tooth texture on both sides, so you don't. If you want to like wrap it around something or uh, have like a have it fold over, for instance, if you want to like make a belt loop integral to it, if you fold it over, you don't have you know uh, matte and shiny contrasting with each other. It'll all be this uh, finished texture. So let's go over here. Time to rock out. Get this guy set up. Now what you'll notice is I don't preheat the tray in the oven. Uh, just so I don't put the material on a hot tray and shock it or cause it to warp as one side heats much more rapidly than the other. Because the tray is more conductive than the Kydex and it will heat faster, and etc. So this guy's going to go right in here, in there. The internal temperature of the oven is... 270s and 280. So uh, they tell us that the working temperature of this is about between 3 and 350, and not to exceed 350. Otherwise, uh, we'll run into trouble. Now I know that I can take regular Kydex and push that temperature a little past 350 if I heat it slowly enough. Um, but we'll see what happens with this guy. So here we go. We'll let it warm up. We'll keep an eye on it, see what it does, see if it reacts or overreacts and then we'll uh, we'll get involved in making the mold. So, so let's take a look at here. The trusty uh, four sevens quark one two three. Nothing nothing weird happening yet. Let's take a look at the uh, temperature here. Let's let it warm up a little bit. So, here we go. It's been in the oven for a few minutes now, and it's at 220 degrees. Let's see what kind of characteristics it has. It's already getting kind of soft, but it's still kind of firm. So it's about as pliable as Kydex would be at this point. It's still looking kind of glossy. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that glossiness. I kind of like, I kind of impart it to this like more matte 
color with like with the matte texture with like the more coarse cell texture in it. But um, I don't know, maybe it's just because I've been working with it for so long. The, uh, the shinier stuff looks like like ABS plastic, like uh, like uh, injection kind of plastic. I know I'm probably violating a million kind of like workshop safety rules. You're gonna put your eye out. Yeah. Don't bring up the job. It's no accidents happen. It's like tire material or something. Yeah. I guess we'll see what happens here. Do you smell it? It smells a little different than Kydex. We're not even at 300 yet. <laughs> I don't know if that's normal or what. Keep going, see what happens, right? Science. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Three twelve. I'll give it another little bit of time here. I'm not going to push it up to 350, I think, that's pushing it for the first time. Uh, it's so unbelievably cool that they just send us free things. I know, like... That they want us to try out. We bought enough kayaks, I should say. <laughs> this, we get one of those rectangular boxes a couple times a week. <laughs> Run a first name basis with the FedEx man. All right, that's 320. Let's give this a shot. It's starting to. Oh, Ooh. wrinkle. What wow. the fuck is this? Huh. That's not cool at all, I don't think. I don't think we did anything wrong. Get in there. Let's press it, see what it does. I wonder if it'll flatten out. That's cool. Using this awesome press that Mike built for us. I'm not sure how I feel about that rolling up on me like that. And it's not even at the maximum working temperature yet. It's a little strange. We'll, see. we'll let the results speak for themselves, though, you know? Are you ready? You ready to see this? Let's see what it did. See what kind of definition we got here. Wow. Well, that sure does look pretty good. <laughs> that is impressive. Let's come over here in the light and take a look. Now it's glossier than Kydex, but this looks pretty freaking slick. I have to say, I'm impressed. I, after the initial impression with it, like maybe curling up on us a little bit and acting up. I wasn't convinced that we were going to have really good results. However, let's uh, flip it over. Oh, that's so interesting. That this side is matte and that side is shiny. What do you think is the result of that? 
They look the same before you heat them, right? Yeah, they do. There's no difference on this scrap. The side's shiny. The side's shiny. That is odd. The detail is really impressive. Yeah, it is. I, I'd say that this is just the same kind of uh, detail that you can expect from uh, Kydex. And look, we've got uh, slide serrations, little takedown lever, uh, light rails. So, all right, I have I have faith. All right, I have faith. We'll see how this goes. I am a little perplexed as to why one side is matte. I kind of like it shiny though. It looks good. It does look good. It looks more plasticky than Kydexy, but I think we still have potential to get a really good holster out of this. Mm -hmm. I, I think. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we'll uh, go ahead and we'll take a look at the carbon fiber, see how that guy's doing. Because it's a different material, we've got to make sure it's right. That could be cool clear, couldn't it? Definitely. I'm very excited to try the clear. Yep, the carbon fiber is curling up at about 230 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this bed the way over, rotate it, crank it up. Not quite as much curling. We're at three, almost 300 degrees here. which is what we press that one at. So here we go. I'm going to put it rolly side down like so. Oh, is it shrinking? Curling up does make it hard to work with. I like to be able to just put the material in the press and get it set up. That's just one extra thing that I have to think about which I don't really want to do when the, uh, when the time is critical. You know, like I don't want to lose the heat in the amount of time it takes me to like mess around with flattening it out and shit. That's not, that's not really cool. That's so far the only thing I don't like about this. No, two. I don't know which side is going to be shiny, <laughs> and I have to fight with it curling up on me. But, I don't know, maybe whoever gets my, uh, gets to participate in these free samples will uh, come up with uh, the solution for both of those things. But I don't know, maybe, maybe the, the working temperature is lower than and we're overheating it a little bit. Yeah. So we had a little uh, camera malfunction and we lost the part where uh, the uh, carbon fiber half come, came out of the toaster oven. I mean, came out of the press. But uh, I'm in the process of laying it out, so we're going to keep rocking on this like we, uh, like we would normally.
This is, the whole stex is softer than the uh, regular Kydex. And I guess if you'll come over here and take a look at the edges that we had just after uh, the 600 grit, that's already really pretty good. Uh, let's freaking focus. This is why we're getting a new camera. All right, the edge quality on these is already pretty good. But what I'm going to do is I'm still going to run it through the buffer and uh, really uh, clean them up and then uh, when we get back it'll all be riveted together uh, actually you know what when we get back uh, I'll show you what it looks like after the buffing and then when we get back after that I'll show you, you the uh, completed holster so we just buffed the ed edges and as you can see they took a really nice shine and um, the material is soft enough that uh, you could really work these edges and uh, actually remove material with the with the buffing wheel in a in a pretty dramatic way and i think when uh, once it's riveted together i'm going to see about blending these edges together just a little bit with the uh, with the buffer so when we get back that's where we'll be so we're back and uh, i spent a little time with the buffer and due to the softness of the uh, hole stacks you can really see how it uh, with just a little bit of work you can basically blend these two edges entirely together so um, in some respects I think that this material is easier to work with than Kydex in terms of getting a, a good definition and getting a good edge quality Oh, looks like I forgot a rivet I'll pop that guy back in but um, there are other factors like the fact that it rolls up on you when you heat it up that could get a little complicated but in terms of, you know, easy successes, achieving a high level of fit and finish, yeah, it's uh, a home run for that so far. So let me just put that in, and uh, when we get back, we'll have a completed holster here. So here we go. This is my very first uh, completed uh, all-on-camera uh, demonstration of the new uh, Holstex material that we've been getting. Uh, I think this turned out... Uh, very well, especially for a first attempt. It's uh, the definition is good, the shape is good, the retention is also, you know, everything, uh, everything you want from uh, a holster. It's nice and snug and fits in very snugly. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. The fit and finish turned out uh, particularly nice. I uh, am warming up to the the glossiness. I think the carbon fiber is pretty sharp. So anyway, this is just the demo model and uh, there's some more stuff that I got to make that I'm going to try out and that I'm going to uh, share with the uh, Holstex makers. And uh, But this one is for you guys. So if you're out there and you have a Glock 17 or 22 or, uh, and you want this holster, PM me uh, and just, you know, Kick me a couple bucks for the shipping and I'll send it on over to you. And let me know what size belt you wear so I can make the loops for you. But at any rate, yeah, I hope you like the uh, demonstration. If, if you're a DIYer and you're just getting started, I, if I were you, I would consider Holstex because of, uh, because of, oh, excuse me, because of how easy it is to uh, get these good results with it. It's not like a, uh, it's not the same kind of painstaking challenge that Kydex is. Like I think this uh, I think this uh, gives you better results at a lower temperature. It's easier to sand, it's easier to drill, and uh, it's easier to uh, heat and manipulate. Uh, so I think if, uh, if you want something that looks good quickly and uh, reliably, I think I think Holstex might be a pretty good bet. So uh, at any rate, thanks for watching. 
You can get whole stacks like everything else at knifekits.com, and they were uh, generous enough to uh, donate a bunch of it to us. And if you're interested in a couple samples, uh, let me know. I'll put together a little kit for you, and just uh, again, you know, I'll give you an idea of approximately how much it would be to ship it, and I'll ship some on over to you. So uh, thanks again, guys, and I'm uh, glad that I was able to uh, uh, share this uh, share this new product with you.